Jesus. A whole virtual universe. You can do anything, be anyone, without going anywhere at all. Okay, so I just finished this book. Did you like it? Yeah, I, I, no, I love it. I mean, and I think these type of stories are my favorite that, that predict kind of uh, a future that, that, that could potentially exist, and es right. especially with this, you know, with virtual reality becoming kind of a, a, um, a very commercial medium and uh, a, actually, you know, a replacement for a true reality. The Oasis was the brainchild of James Halliday. Hello. If you're watching this, I'm dead. I created a hidden object, an Easter egg. The first person to find the egg will inherit half a trillion dollars and total control of the Oasis itself. You know, that whole post-apocalyptic feel of the book and of the movie, um, it, it, it doesn't feel like we could be that far off from it. So the idea of someone escaping into a place like the Oasis, it, it doesn't seem like that's a, that's too far off from reality, yeah. unfortunately. No, absolutely. And and the, the character that I play, he lives in this place called the Stacks, which yeah. are, I mean, you know, you read yeah, the book. Yeah, of course, of course. Mobile homes yeah, yeah, yeah. stacked up on top of each other. And, um, you know, because overpopulation is an issue in 2045 in this dystopian future. So, uh, you know, all of that really makes sense. And, and Ernie's does such a great job of finding those justifiable elements as to why the world is the way it is in his story. Hats off to whoever cast you because, I mean, seeing the movie and, and reading the book, you are weight. <laughs> oh, thanks so much. I, uh, thanks, I really appreciate that. What was it like for you to to, to dive into that universe um, and at the same time, you're diving into this universe, you have to prepare all this stuff mentally in your head, mm -hmm. and then you've got a guy like Steven Spielberg that you're working under. I, I, that's got to mess with your head a little bit. Yeah, but also like you wouldn't, well, I would not rather have anyone else steering the ship, you know? Yeah. Um, and if there's anybody you can trust, Steven Spielberg would be a good bet. <laughs> what was your favorite Steven Spielberg movie growing up? Probably E.T. Yeah. Yeah, I mean I love, growing up is definitely E.T. I love Close Encounters and Minority Report and, and like, you know, to, yeah. I, I feel so honored now to be in. Um, uh, a sci-fi film that he's directed, you know, and, and his, I think his return to sci-fi and doing this movie is um, so cool. So we take it together? Sure. When I got this this script, I, I thought, oh, there's no way I'll ever get this. I'll audition for it, but right. I'll never get the part. But I cannot wait to see that movie because I was completely obsessed with VR before uh, I heard about Ready Player One. And oh, I had so not, this is perfect for you. Yeah, so this <laughs> is like, you know, I was with my writing partner. We had, He comes from a background of visual effects, and okay. um, he was a visual effects artist on this commercial. And he had, you know, this is like four years, four and a half years ago. They were shooting 360, and he was stitching all the frames together, creating... VR content before anyone else and so we were trying to make some VR content and then this movie came up and uh, it was uh, yeah it's just kind of such a odd coincidence. Is there a part of you that like I just can't I, I can't wait to be in the theater to see people's reaction to this? Well we just had our world premiere in, in Austin at South by Southwest. Oh so how was, and how was that? It was awesome. Yeah. I actually live in Austin and so does Ernie Klein who wrote the book. Yeah. Um, so I mean, it was it was it was great. Uh, my whole family was there, and uh, Stephen came out, and and Zach Penn, and the rest of the cast, and I mean, they went they went crazy. Save the Oasis. Save the world. Players, are you ready? That's better. I'll wave to you from the finish line. McFly. That went well.